Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hyper Mind Vanilla Server. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I am doing well. So, where are we? We're at the witch farm. Okay, if you couldn't guess, and if you couldn't guess, then that means you haven't been hanging around here for a while. You notice that we've got a bunch of full things over in our storage area over there, which is really cool. Uh, what did, what filled up? Redstone filled up. Excellent. So we got plenty of redstone over there. Anyway, enough about that. What are we doing today? Well, it's time to get to some of the other farms over here. One of them, well, it's actually a four-part farm. We're going to do the villager farms today. That's beetroot, wheat, carrot, and potato. We're going to do it all in one, one episode. Are you ready? Good. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for automated beetroot, carrot, potato, and wheat slash seed. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to do that today. I've already picked out a location over that way, that quadrant over there. And we're going to be putting this in a specific location because we need to make sure that the uh, villagers do not ever, ever have a chance of crossing a chunk boundary so that they don't disappear we're going to be running all of the drops into that line right there, which will then come up into this item elevator and go through here. So we will be putting all of the drops into this side of the farm, okay, or this storage area rather than that one. So um, I have gathered all the materials right here. Let me just give you an idea of what we're doing here. A bunch of dirt. Yep, we need one of those. And we're going to be taking care of something. Ooh, I forgot to put on my my uh, armor let's do that real quick yeah we need to do something here let's go into the achievements and what i want to do is husbandry yeah serious dedication completely use up a diamond hoe and then reevaluate re your life choices so we are going to create a diamond hoe we're going to craft one right quick okay see this boom okay that is what we're going to use for this and where did i have it in there yeah, I guess so. And then we've got a bunch of white concrete and I've got my redstone elsewhere. Yep. So I'll, I'll have to make sure to grab that. But all of these things right here are going to go into the farm design and we're going to be using a client side mod. Let me see if I can bring this up correctly. I have learned, I've learned the keyboard shortcuts. We're using the schematica mod and I've already done the design over my creative testing world. We're going to load it in here and I'm going to use it. And if you think that's cheating, I'm sorry, but I do a lot of designing over in my creative testing world. And sometimes it's just a lot easier to do uh, schematica than, well, this is the first time I've ever done it, but it'll be a lot easier than having to go back and forth and back and forth or having two instances open and possibly recording the wrong one. But we're going to do that over there. So let me, uh, let me load that up. And um, you know what? While I'm doing that, how about a little time lapse? See you on the other side.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. I certainly enjoyed building this thing, finally getting it out here for you to see. So we got four different platforms. Let's take a look at just one of them. And once you've seen one, you've pretty much seen all four. So let's just do a little stack jump here with some dirt because that's all I've got right now. All right, so got a little bit of a design going on with these columns of water all around. And those are actually going to sit there and hydrate all of the uh, all of the dirt once I till it um, but uh, we'll get to that in a bit we've also got a water source in the middle but right here this level is where the minecart is going to be going and if you take a look here yeah you can kind of see it we don't have a minecart on it right now but what I've done is I've taken the concept from the JL2579 squid mother farm way back in the day it's a couple years old or more than that three years old or so i don't know anyway it's a long time that that one's been out but we got the same same set of snaking tracks back and forth going every which way all the way down and then suddenly the minecart comes this way right here and it goes up onto uh, maybe we can get over here a little bit closer all right, so the minecart comes off of that track right there that I'm pointing to, jumps onto this track, and then because of the way minecarts orient themselves, it's going to go back to the correct direction. So we've got a little timer circuit, not a timer, it's a little detector circuit that wants the, uh, there's no more, what is it, uh, stuff, uh, items going through the hopper there. It's going to power that. That block right there the um the power rail and then send the minecart back on its way so we're gonna have a minecart constantly going and that's fine because we're going to have a villager up here in this spot uh my or not mining but farming something so we've got four different layers one's going to be for the wheat and seeds one's going to be for the beetroot and beet seeds one for carrots and one for potatoes we're going to have something all the way up so uh the other thing to note is around here do I have yeah I've got a I've got one of these these newfangled uh, shovels okay so you can kind of see the redstone right here yeah a little bit so we've got a a detector is that the one yeah so when there are no more items going through that hopper okay so we invert that signal so that right now the power rail is on once items start going through that hopper, and that means uh, we're going to turn off the powered rail, and um, and then while while that thing is unloading all of its stuff, it's going to be sitting over top of two hoppers, so it'll unload at twice the speed of normal. But um, I don't want to do that. I want to go over here. We'll come to the um, little thing that you see off in the corner in just a bit. So. Those hoppers are all going to be going into a series of droppers that we have along the side here. So four droppers right there. And then let's just stack jump again so you can see. Not that. Someone downside. I run into that. I don't know how many times. So that hopper are, are all those hoppers feed into that dropper right there. And then we take a signal and put it into that block. And when there is an item, at least one in that dropper, this sticky piston is going to extend and then we're going to get a uh, signal out of set of observers so uh, that's a vertically oriented observer clock so there we go anyway so that's what we've got there i still need to till up all the dirt and plant the seeds and then there's something else we're missing and that's what i've got over here so let's make our way over here we do have to get some some villagers into here and I was originally going to bring you along for that whole process but I decided that we would be better served by just taking care of this actually I meant to do something else let me go grab a couple of items here so what I did is I built a spawning platform and then found out that I probably should not have done that or at least should have put some uh, some what is it some barriers on there and I eventually did but yeah anyway we had a creeper explosion didn't die or anything it's just it 
it caused me to have a massive outflow of mobs when I didn't really, or I wasn't really prepared for it. But anyway, we got our two guys here. And this guy, let's see. Oh, he's wearing something. So I have no idea what he is. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so rather than trying to pull some villagers from some other village, what I've done is I just got some zombie villagers. It took a while for them to show up, but they eventually did. And there we go. So what we're going to do, in case you haven't seen this before, to heal a zombie villager, you splash them with a potion of weakness, and then you give them a golden apple. So we're going to do that. Okay, that should be sufficient. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So he's going to start healing up. So I wanted to bring you along for this. And yeah, there we go. Do I have weakness on? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. That's fine. So they are going to be healing up. And while they're doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a hotel nether rack for them to stay in. So there's a couple ways to get these guys to breed up. You can either, oh, let me, uh, I realized something. I was over in the Enderman farm and the, those guys are noisy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So these guys are noisy too, but I, I wanted to make sure I could hear them. So you can either trade with them or feed them. I don't want to feed them because I want to make sure that they have all the right stuff for them to be in there doing their jobs. I don't want to have to replace them later. So we're going to build a hotel nether rack. In case you haven't seen one of those. We had one early on in this map. But just a, a real simple structure of nether rack. And then we're going to build them up or breed them up by trading with them. And then once we get four farmer villagers, I will move them up there. But I'm going to do all of that off camera. I'm going to build this thing off camera. It's not going to be pretty. I'll leave it up for you so you can see it when we're back together. But uh, but yeah, it's going to take a while to get those guys bred up. This guy, Butcher, and then I think this guy is a librarian, but I could be wrong. Anyway, so I'm going to let them do their thing. We're going to protect them as well so nobody can get in there and uh, undo my hard work. So I'm going to go off camera. I'll bring you back when we've got a little more progress. Well, I wanted to show you real quick before I built Hotel Netherrack. It looks like one of them has changed and I got a new advancement. So, this guy, let's see what he is. Butcher. No leather worker. Okay. Excellent. And then this other guy. He should be turning here soon. All right, let's just wait. And there we go. Let's see what this guy is. Another leather worker. Okay, well, that works. All right, now I need to build their hotel. Back in a bit. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look over here. I told you I was going to build a hotel nether rack. I did, but I have since torn out the doors because once I got those farmer villagers... They just hung out right on this side right here that I'm pointing my cursor at. And they didn't want to do any work. They just want to stay in one spot. You can see them moving around right now. So there we go. See, he's picking up stuff. And then we've got items flowing through like so. So uh, I am pretty pleased with this. And I'll have to get a screenshot later, uh, but not right now. In... In the meantime, what I want to do, I want to show you some of the results of the thing and then talk about some of the problems with it so far that I'm going to have to go back and redesign a bit, but I kind of need to get this video out to you. But over here, we've got a few, shall we call, or shall we say leftovers? I don't know quite what to do with them, but we'll leave them here for now. They're not interrupting anything in terms of like a village or anything like that. So we're going to leave them there. I've moved the doors out of the way, so it's not a valid village. It's just some villagers hanging out, and we'll leave them alone. Now, let's come in here. All right. If we look over in the carrots, okay, that's going. Seeds are going. 
And I need to find a better way of getting rid of items. That's rather loud. So we've got a lot of beetroot seeds coming in. Okay, that's filling up a lot of, what is that? Just beetroot. Okay, and there. Yeah, that's filling up. And some potatoes, but not too many. And so that's one of the problems. The potato and carrot villager, they tend to get full. And when they get full, they don't start picking anymore. They just stop. And the whole farm is, is just growing. Okay. So I may have to redesign a little bit and see if I can put, there's a trick you can do to make it have a spot that is always going to remain unplanted, but tilled. And so I might have to try and figure out how to put one of those in. But for now, I need to get this video out to you and edited and um, yeah. So let's get away from the nether portal sound. Yeah, so I've got to cut this. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. Uh, point of note about next week, we are, well, I, I mentioned a while back that I got a new job and I'm going to be out of town for that new job, getting the computer and getting set up and meeting all the coworkers and everything next week. So I'm not going to be able to get a video out to you. So um, this is going to be a due for two weeks. So uh, just make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get email for when that next one does come out but we've got some other farms to work on over here on our to-do list let's see if we can walk over in third or first person no no third person like this yep yeah there we go okay so we can see some more of the to-do list that's going to be it for now hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and uh that's going to be it so thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time which is in two weeks that's right two weeks bye bye for now